These roads are covered in pumice. So pumice is basically this stuff right here. You can see this. This is what the roads are covered with. Pumice is basically, it's an extrusive volcanic rock. And you can think of it as a frothy rhyolite. So that means it is very silica rich rock. So this is probably a piece of Mount St. Helens pumice, pretty likely, because if we were standing here in the 1980 eruption, we would have been right in the line of fire or pumice. Let me go down and grab some pumice real quick. All right, so these volcanoes, for the most part, tend to be more on the silica rich end of the magma chemistry scale. So many of them are made up of a lot of rhyolite, sometimes dacite and andesite. Glacier Peak, it's more on the dacite end of the scale. These volcanoes tend to be more silica rich when we compare them, say, to the volcanoes that you think of in Hawaii. Those are more on the basaltic end of the scale. That is less viscous. So that magma tends to flow and have far reaching consequences. This stuff in contrast, this silica rich, uh, high in volatiles and, and you know, gases, this very viscous thick, like molasses magma will basically get shaken up and pop. That's how these volcanoes work. This is actually a really cool view in person. It's amazing looking. Mount Rainier is to the north of us right now. If we would continue to the north, we would discover some more volcanoes in the Cascade Range. There's different types of eruptions and different chemistry that has occurred in the history of each volcano. So we can find, in addition to rhyolite, dacite, andesite, and even some basalt. The Cascade volcanoes go through different eruptive phases. So sometimes they're a little more active and sometimes they're kind of quiet. I hope you enjoyed today's look at the Cascade Range. We'll be talking more about other Cascade volcanoes here. Um, we'll be covering as many, hopefully eventually all of them here at Let's Go Geo. So I hope you will join me on the next adventure. Um, and yeah, if you'd like to support the channel as I build this virtual Let's Go Geo project, then head on over to Patreon and you can become a patron. I have some behind scenes and exclusive content that I can share there. And otherwise, I will see you guys on the next adventure. It's a good day of rock hounding. Thank you.